This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Well, I attended a conference recently that was focused on the factors which prevent profitability on the farm. I expected to hear discussions about marketing structures and government policies. Instead, I heard things like a lack of communication between business partners, poorly defined job responsibilities. It appears the soft stuff may be the greatest barrier to the prosper prosperity of the business. Today, the top manager team addresses one such issue. Pete Alexander puts it this way. It's temper that gets most of us into trouble and pride that keeps us there. There's an old saying that quitters never win and winners never quit. But there's also a difference between persevering and just plain being bullheaded. A lot of really stubborn people aren't achievers as much as they are simply unwilling to ever admit they're wrong. Anyone who keeps doing the same thing just because that's the way it's always been done is always going to be two steps behind the leaders. I really like a quote from Eric Hofer that I recently heard that says, in times of change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. It's hard to admit the need for change, and um, and suggests because it suggests that uh, sometimes you were you were wrong in the first place, and so it's uh, it, it, it's a challenge. The her the heritage of the independent farmer across Canada is is to be independent, to do things on your own, to to, to work in isolation, and to stoically hunker down in the bad times. And this this is a habit. It, it, it's probably more of the culture of agriculture. It's it, it's, it's our heritage. And so again, it requires some out-of-the-box thinking to, to, to change our habits, and that's not an easy thing to do. Um, I guess one way to, ex to explain what top farmers are doing with this habit issue is um, they've moved from independence to a higher level of interdependence. And to do that, you have to be willing to share with other people, share with your peers, understand where your weaknesses are, and go uh, to others for help, such as your banker or consultants or, or um, a peer group or a board of directors. And this is one of the ways to break out of the habits is to have the courage to seek help and move to this mode of interdependence because it's a complicated world. Uh, running a farm is, is incredibly complicated. There's many, many factors that need to be done on the production side, on the management side, on the human resource side, and now on the environmental side, and farmers need help and support from, uh, from the other players in the industry. And top farmers have done an excellent job of bringing in other resources to help them in all the aspects of farm business management. And that has helped them break out of these old habits or the old culture of agriculture and get more into an inter interdependent type of relationships uh, at the farm level and both upstream and downstream in the supply chain.